Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we have I Found It, the Marvel version. So that's kind of cool to have a Marvel version of this. Uh, simple kind of game. It's like a look and find. You're going to get a deck of cards, and then you're going to have a stack pile. You're going to try and find the object that's flipped over. So I do like Marvel. I thought the art might be pretty cool on this one. And it, it is pretty colorful, but because it's like a I Found It, things are pretty small on the cards. But the cards are going to be a pretty good size. You, gonna see here in a second so I was surprised that they're that big which is a good thing I'm definitely a fan of that so let's open it up here check it out all right got it open here like I said these are pretty good size I like that they're almost the size of the box itself and being something you need to look at pretty carefully to find the object that's good well pop this open see how they look even more like I said, the objects on are pretty small because how the game works and got the instructions here. And we're going to go over how to play this game actually. How to play. All players participate in every turn. To win the I Found It Hidden Picture Card Game, be the first player to get rid of all your cards. So you're dealt five cards at the beginning of the game. When everyone is ready, flip over the top card of the deck into a new pile to show its object side, so the blue side. Players immediately search the pictures on their cards for the object shown. The first player to find the object show shows the other players, then places that card on top of the object pile. So face down, so their object is now up. Players now search for the new object, after one minute, if no one can find the object, flip over a new card from the deck to search for the new object. The first player to get rid of all the cards wins. So the setup here, shuffle all cards together. Each player, each card has a picture side and a hidden object side. Deal five cards to each player. Players hold their cards so you can see the pictures. So people will be able to see the object side. Uh, place the rest cards in the deck and then flip over one to have the uh, I found the object visible, and then that's how you play. So, pretty easy. And it's nice that it has like a one minute time limit, so you're not just sitting there. Because some of the cards won't have the object on it, so you'll just have to wait to see if someone gets it or flip over a new card. So, we'll go through one hand of play. A quick shuffle, deal out five cards. Picture side face down. Pick them up so you can see your, the pictures. I'm going to flip this all the way over. Quick shuffle. All right, then we're going to flip the top of this over to reveal the first object that we're going to be looking for. I'm going to shuffle this a little more. So I tried this once before and I didn't have any objects for like three turns, so. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be the case this time, we'll see. Looks like that's the Daily Bugle, maybe. So I'll take this top card, flip it over. The number seven, so we're gonna look at our cards, all of them, and see if we can find a number seven on one of our cards that we have in our hand. So let's look. We're looking for a number seven, have like a bat, a dinosaur, war machine, enchantress. A rhino, campfire, almost like some Guardians of the Galaxy stuff there. So I don't have a seven, so somebody else would hopefully have a seven, or hopefully not, since you want to win. So nobody does. Flip over the card, get a new object. All right, hard hat. Gotta have a hard hat in one of these cards, right? No. <laughs> I have a space card, I have a bunch of forest cards. So there's no hard hats in any of these cards. So I look again. All right, Let's say one minute passed. Flag. I got a flag in one of my cards. No. Nothing. No flag. So again, three turns have gone by. Well, I've had no objects that I can find on my cards. All right, a fish. 
fish. I got some water here. Look at that. Got a fish down here. I found it. Say I found it. Show everybody. When I flip over face down. Now we're looking for a sign. Got a sign right there. Same thing. Show everyone. Flip it down. Now we're looking for snakes. So you would think I'd have a snake with these jungle cards, but I don't. <laughs> and that's how the game plays. Pretty simple. Um, probably is a decent amount of fun, I think. You know, just a quick game. Find it as fast as you can. Flip it over. Uh, flip the object down. Which I did incorrectly there for a second. Looking for dogs. And there's quite a few cards in the pack. So, probably some decent replayability. I mean, it's how fast you can find things, right? So, I guess you can memorize the cards. And it'll be a little less replayable. But that is Marvel. I found it. I think I got this off Amazon for less than 10 bucks. I'm pretty sure. I think it was like a $5 game. And uh, from what I can tell, I think it's worth it. Uh, the cards are big, bright. It's a decent concept of an easy game to play that anyone can pick up. So thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.